Hey, welcome back. It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. It's a FIFA 18 demo, 84K HDR on PlayStation 4 Pro. The Xbox One X version will utilize the same thing. The only difference is I'm gonna want to see with the Xbox One X version is to see how well the textures are on the Xbox One X. It'll be interesting to see if Xbox One X can render the textures at a little bit higher texture pixel rate so we'll see all of this when the uh, officially xbox one x comes out it's getting closer month and a half from now it's almost there if you haven't pre-ordered it yet i highly recommend that you do because uh you will have a hard time getting this console i guarantee you that now this is samsung ks8000 65 inch it's a full wide color gamut tv with quantum dot nanotechnology you guys already know that has uh, over 1000 nits of peak brightness which is necessary for HDR to truly shine so without any further ado let's go jump right into a gameplay and then I'm gonna utilize the same uh, custom picture settings that I use for NBA 2k 18 so I just want to see how well they look because they're both sports games so let's do this and of course, you all know who this guy is. I don't need to uh, tell you who this is. This is the type of a guy that could have any girl go down on her knees and do what needs to be done. <laughs> just kidding, Ronaldo. All right, just kidding. All right, so we're going to choose Real Madrid versus Manchester United. This is kind of cool. So if this was like the real game I definitely fucking watch it I'm sorry for the language this would be exciting to, to watch Real Madrid versus Manchester United but anyway we're gonna do this as a uh, demo purpose to check out and uh, look and see what we can do with the calibration here what I can do with my custom picture settings okay This looks fantastic, man. Obviously, the fixture in world football. HDR here truly shines. And it shines for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the higher peak brightness and the uh, full white collar gamut of quantum dot nanocells obviously truly helps here. But then again, the one thing that this TV is lacking is those uh, local dimming zones because it is an edge lit TV. Just on Manchester United, Adam, what did you make of Jose Mourinho's first season in charge at Old Trafford? You know, it'll be really interesting to see how well uh, FIFA 18 stacks up against uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2018. It would be kind of cool to put comparison between these two uh, titans of soccer games. But I don't know how much better can you get than this. Uh, I don't know if Xbox One X will be able to do anything better than what we're seeing here. Uh, like I said, we'll find out come November. We'll do the tests. We'll stack them up together and uh, we'll see. But this video, it's mainly going to be me using uh, calibration, my own custom picture settings for Samsung KS8000. It looks amazing. It looks as almost as if you're like, as if you're watching the real, the real game, honestly. That's what HDR and native 4K will do. Oh, no. Stopped him practically just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Just a mistake, really. Come on. Let's do this. Come on, come on. Real Madrid. 
That's good support as they build this attack. Here we go, here we go. Oh. All right, let's go through replay a little bit here. Let's look at the replay. Let's check it out. Hold on a second. Here we go. Let's hide this a little bit like this and then uh, let's examine this. I mean the textures and the graphics here uh, in native 4K and HDR truly shine. And I don't know how much more of a textures can you... Uh, I can maybe see... Uh, I could see Xbox One X utilizing a little bit more of uh, anti-aliasing, a little bit higher anti-aliasing. I can see them do that. I can see them uh, using a higher volumetric well, light lighting. Uh, I can see them do some other things, you know, with the DirectX 12. But these are the small nuances that it will be hard for your eyes to kind of notice. But look, for right now, if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One S, uh, it depends. If you have pre-ordered Xbox One X, then you can go with the Xbox One S version. That way, when the Xbox One X comes out, you can just upgrade it for free. But if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro, I mean, this is it. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Uh, you definitely go with it, this version, you know. It's got HDR. It's got native 4K, and my camera here, it's really not doing justice. You have to see this in person to truly appreciate uh, on how this looks. Remember, I'm, I'm like 8 feet away from this TV. This is a 65-inch. Uh, I could try to maybe get a little bit closer. Hold on. Here, I purposely got a little bit closer to the TV from 8 feet to 6.5 feet. Because this is a big TV, 65 inch, uh, and uh, it just looks looks remarkable. And I think that you guys will agree, the custom picture settings that I use for NBA 2K18 can also be applied here on FIFA 18 easily. Hold on, let me uh, zoom out. Now, I do notice that uh, when you zoom in on the players a little bit, the anti-lacing, uh, it's not as, as great. You can still see a little bit of jagged edges, but that's probably because they want the performance to be good. Now, I don't know if the Xbox One X will be able to utilize a little bit better uh, anti-lacing. I don't know, maybe. Again, uh, they're probably going for performance, so maybe they're not going to do that. But listen... These are small nuances. Just ignore that I even mentioned that. These are small nuances that your eyes won't be able to see, won't be able to recognize. This is like a geek uh, shit. Like, like you, you, I'm geeking out trying to find these elements. They're not that important. All you need to know, it looks fantastic. And uh, as far as... Pro Evolution Soccer, I haven't uh, heard anything regarding HDR on Pro Evolution Soccer. They're basically saying that it supports native 4K, but nothing yet on HDR. So, I don't know. We'll see. But don't worry, I'm going to get that game. I'm going to find out whether or not it supports HDR. Here's Ronaldo. It looks fantastic, man. Also, you have to keep in mind that this game is using a Frostbite engine. The same engine that's used for um, 
Battlefield 1. I, you know, it just looks jaw-dropping, man. And my camera here, honestly, it's, uh, it's impossible for you guys to see what I'm seeing right now. But you'll have to take my word for it. Graphically, let's look at, let's just boil this down really quick. There's three things that FIFA 18 has that makes it really great. New engine, Frostbite engine, <clears throat> okay? And PlayStation 4 Pro is taking the advantage of that Frostbite engine. That's number one. Number two, native 4K, which adds even more sharper density of detail. And number three, high dynamic range 10. So when you add all those three elements, you truly got yourself a fantastic uh, soccer game here. Really, honestly. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Even the crowds in the distance, they, they look very detailed, honestly. Look, when you look at a stadium, the detail, the dynamic light on the stadium, everything, it just looks amazing, man. Look at that stadium, how detailed it is, and the crowd in it and everything, and the grass. Uh, it truly looks remarkable. There. Look at that dynamic. This is HDR doing its job here. Shining that light from the uh, these big giant reflectors on the stadium. I'm just doing, trying to do my best here just to kind of give you guys an idea. What HDR really does on this game, it truly gives you that three-dimensional look and feel of picture. Along with the graphics and along with the resolution. Now, let's get back into what you guys want to see here. Let's get back into my custom picture uh, settings right here. Okay, remember this. I know I mentioned this and I keep mentioning this in every video. Backlit, contrast and brightness will always stay like this. As soon as the HDR turns on, it'll always be like this. Backlit at maximum, brightness at 50 and contrast at 100. They need these two in order for HDR to work properly. <clears throat> brightness, you don't want to mess with the brightness. Because HDR, it's already giving you that deep dark levels that you need. So you don't need to mess with the brightness. Leave the brightness at 50. If I move brightness down, then I'm going to be crushing my deep dark level details. You won't be able to see that crowd here. It'll be all dark. So you don't want to do that. Remember, you're looking for equality, equilibrium. Sharpness is zero. People always ask me, Hey, Mr. 4K, why do you always keep your sharpness at zero? Because this is a 65-inch TV. It's a native 4K. You already have high pixel density on this canvas here. You already have that sharpness of detail due to high pixel density of native 4K. So there is no reason for me to outline any more than it's already being presented to me. So I keep it at zero. And it's not just me saying this. This is pretty much every calibrator out there, Vincent... From AZTV tests, Richard from Digital Foundry, <clears throat> uh, ratings.com, etc., etc., Digital Trends, ask any of these uh, AVR forums, ask any of them, they'll tell you the same thing. It's not just me saying this. Color 55, I leave it at 55 because I don't like to oversaturate my HDR. The whole idea of HDR and the whole idea of calibration, it's not to oversaturate, it's not to kill your white bright levels, and also not to crush your deep dark levels. So you want to keep it balanced. I like to keep it between 55 to 50. 
55 to me is just a perfect spot. As if I like to call it a G spot, I keep it at 55 to give me that natural color. That's what you want. You want natural look and feel of this TV. And down here, I turn all this stuff off. Digital clean view, you don't need that. That's for the cable, digital signal. Auto Motion Plus, I turn this off too. I really don't need this. I never used it. Smart LEDs, you keep them at high because you want to have that peak brightness, that higher peak brightness. So you got to keep it at high. Uh, dynamic contrast, you don't want to use this. You never use this on HDR because if you use this, then you're going to crush your white bright levels and you're going to lose that detail that you need. So you want to turn this off. And also do some research on dynamic contrast and versus HDR and why you don't want to use this with HDR. Okay? Color of tone, I always go with the standard. Why? Because I like to keep a balance between warm yellow tone and cold blue temperature tone. I like to keep it in between. And gamma, I keep it at 2.2. You don't want to mess with the gamma. Don't mess with the gamma. Leave it at 2.2. It's a mistake to move it all the way to minus 3. Don't do it. Otherwise, you'll be crushing your levels of detail. It's just... You'll, you're just going to screw up your HDR. Don't do it. Leave it at 2.2. And color space, obviously native. I like to have a full native color representation of RGB. So I keep it at native. And honestly, if you guys utilize these same exact picture settings, you'll come to the conclusion that it works for the sports games. Uh, whether you're playing NBA 2K or whether you're playing FIFA, uh, it truly, truly works on the sports games. It really does. And it looks really good. As you can see right here, look at you can even see the shadow on the ball. You see the shadow? How slowly? Look, look. Watch my finger and you'll see the shadow on the ball. Overshadowing, see? See, there's a shadow right there. That's due to the high HDR. When you have a really good HDR TV and then you have a really good custom picture settings calibrated equally, then you're truly going to enjoy this. And if you go and use the software... To calibrate this you're going to come to the same similar calibrations that I just did here I guarantee you I'll bet my money on it if you use a professional calibrating like a Calman or something you'll come to the same conclusion that what I just did here it's pretty much similar to what you're gonna be getting via software Just looks fantastic, man. There's Ronaldo right there. Look at the the, the shadow on, on the field. Look at that detail and everything. Look at that, man. Come on. It doesn't get any better than this. Hold on. Here, let me adjust my low light a little bit better. Here. It doesn't get any better than this, man. It really doesn't. I don't know. Does it? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's continue playing a little bit here before I end the game. Let's come, Ronaldo. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. <clears throat> corner. Here comes the corner. Oh, shoot. Here comes corner. Dangerous. Dangerous situation. 
Another corner. Come on. No, not good. Good. Sergio Ramos. Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo. Let's go. Come on. Oh! All right, so uh, this video is going to end pretty soon. And uh, <coughs> like I said, uh, this game really looks great on this TV in 4K HDR. And there's a reason why it looks great. Because it has a higher peak brightness. Okay, The higher peak brightness, the better the HDR. It's the same thing with the uh, white collar gamut. When you have a higher peak brightness and you got a really good white collar gamut, the HDR with a good... Uh, picture settings, calibration, you're truly going to enjoy this game. Uh, there's no question about that. So there you have it. Try these uh, settings. You know what? If I, I assume a lot of you have Samsung KS8000. Go ahead. Use these uh, settings. Check them out. And uh, let me know what you think. I like it so far. It works for me. And I think... I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work for you. So uh, there you have it. Hopefully you like this video. This is Mr. 4K Upscaler, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a good one, though.